What's going on, guys? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Chef Marco 305, and also known as Chuck Norris. Um, you can call me Marco, it don't matter. And uh, guys, thank you for watching this video, guys. And today, I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a very important question. Um, what do you want people to say at your funeral? <laughs> List all the things that you want people to say at your funeral. You know, I don't care. But the thing is, after you live your life, you pass away. You know, obviously, some of us will have funerals. Some of us may not have funerals, but most of us will. And there will be something that people or your family or your grandkids, your son, your daughters, whatever, make your friends, whatever, co-workers, whatever the case may be, they will say at your funeral. And the thing is, what do you think they would say? You know, um, I know personally, one of the most important thing is that it is it's to live it's to live your life to the fullest and what i mean by that is that not yolo yolo basically it means that you get in trouble you probably would put yourself in in harm's way but live your life to the fullest it's it has more of a of, of an inspiration you are inspired because of something you're inspired because of someone and having said that in the same way you know there's a there's a scripture in the bible that says um in james 2 verse 14 to 26 you could read that if you want but i'm gonna read a little bit a little part of it and and it says that it says that if you actually it says that faith by itself if it's not accompanied by action is dead that means like if you do not have if you have action, if you don't have action behind your faith, your whatever you're saying is worthless. You could say all you want. You could say that, man, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to accomplish that. But if there's no action behind it, how are you going to accomplish these things? It would be empty talk. It would be nothing but gibberish because there's no action behind it. You know, we're looking at everybody, most of the people that's in this world, most of, well, I'll say most of the successful, um, su most of the successful motivational speakers, the reason why they're so successful, the reason why they're so effective is because they put their mouth, what they put their money where their mouth is. They're literally, whatever they saying to you, whatever they motivate you with, it's because they've done it. That's why they're so successful. People are willing to listen to someone that's been to a situation. It's more effective to listen to someone that actually been to where you at. They're not there anymore, but they've been there. So when you when you listen to someone like that, if it if their words really motivates you because you're like, man, this guy could do it, I could do it too. So living your life you know, at funeral, I really want someone to say how I changed their life to the best, for the best. How I was able to, to help them in the situation, in their dire need. Those are the things that I want people to say at my funeral. I don't want people to say Marco was a nice guy. That's too broad. That's too general. I want them to stay focused on something that could relate to others. Something that, that even at my funeral, I'm my the words that they say about me would motivate everybody so guys um this is it it's a very short commentary but i really want you to answer that question what do you want people to say at your funeral that's the question for today guys and without further ado um you know if you if you're new to this channel and you like my content don't be afraid to, to subscribe and Stay tuned for more content, guys. I'm out. Peace.